are Google ads still important? Whether it's of all the things that can kind of be done is, can you still or should be utilizing Google ads if you're not? I, the answer to that uh, is yes, but I want to clarify that with a couple of different things. Google ads in and of themselves should be used in combination with another strategy to get your foundation in place. By foundation, I mean, you know, a, a website that has solid SEO that's been submitted to the search engines, that you have different on-site and off-site SEO things happening so that your website begins to populate for search results organically or for free. Uh, your Google business page should also be fully optimized and be updated regularly so that you're coming up in the map pack organically or for free for relevant search engine uh, search uh, searches uh, for key phrases, keywords. Now, where once you have that foundation in place, I think you can use Google AdWords to fill in the gaps. Like if you're not coming up as high as you would like to, you could use AdWords to get you to the top of that list while your organic results are, are filtering and hopefully going up. You can also use it for you know keywords where maybe somebody's been in business a lot longer than you and it's very difficult to organically get to the top of that list. Might be a place where you might want to use some Google AdWords to get yourself to the top of the list. Um, it also, there's a way you can set up AdWords to where it can be smart and begin to put your ads in front of people that are searching for relevant things that aren't necessarily something you thought about making a keyword for. So the answer to that is yes. I think Google AdWords are still very relevant and can get you to the top of search, in, search engine uh, results, which those are very, um, you know, when somebody's searching uh, on Google or any other search engine for a particular keyword or key phrase, that's a very intentional search, which means they're a couple steps further down the sales path than somebody that's maybe on social media that's just seeing your content. So absolutely, when somebody actually searches for a keyword that's relevant to your business, you want to come up high in those results. And if you have to use Google pay-per-click to do that, I think it's very relevant to do that. We still run a lot of Google AdWords for clients uh, on a monthly basis and manage that for them. So I do think it still is relevant. I think that, uh, again, but not what I would say is don't get caught in the trap of, you know, not paying attention to your website or your Google business page and getting results from Google AdWords. Because here's the thing, the minute you turn those AdWords off, there's no like legacy benefit of those Google AdWords. The minute you stop the spending, the results will stop as well. So if you haven't built the foundation that's going to give you organic results, the minute you stop spending money on Google, your results will stop as well. So ideally use it in tandem with organic strategy so that you're cut you're you're not only getting the results from the AdWords, you're beginning to get better and better results from organic. Yeah, I'd say that was probably one of the most popular comments or questions that we got while at the show last week was me asking if they're utilizing their Google business page and a lot of people aren't. And I think just like Tim had just asked, he was trying to post a video to his Google page and it had, had been having some issues. One of the things that I've noticed working with a few people is that Google has been limiting the, the time length that you can put on there. So you're not going to be able to put like a three minute long Instagram or Facebook yep. video onto your Google. And essentially, I think you've mentioned this before is and I mistakenly was like, just use the Google as almost another social media place. But you're going to want to use like fully optimized SEO like tidbits into your Google posts. Yep. And sometimes a video can do that, but it, it's essentially like a, uh, an image and then a highly fully optimized text can go with it is probably going to benefit you more than trying to just put a full video in because yep. one, it's going to come up on the search. If you're trying to use that video, I would suggest putting it on YouTube and do a YouTube short. And then that way you're still getting that Google uh, connection because they're owned by the same company. But, but, hammer in on those images and and really good text in those Google posts. The other thing you could do as well is if you have a video you want to share of a project, maybe take a still of the project, fully optimize that image, put that image in. And then also, because you could put multiple things in a post, put the image in. So you got a fully optimized image and then also put the video in so somebody can see both of them. 
that's going to probably help you get a little bit more benefit than just putting in the video by itself because it's not yep. as easy to potentially optimize a video as it is to optimize a, a an image. But if somebody's still in in September, the end of September 2023, sleeping on Google Business, you're making a huge mistake. Um, it's, I would say, as important right now as your website. And I used to say almost as important as your website. Right now, I would say it's as important as your website. And I urge you to not be sleeping on your Google Business page. I think that having the page fully filled out and optimized and adding to it on a regular basis is probably one of the, the best things you can be doing for your local business right now. Yeah, I would say to go along with that. And if you don't have a website, you should be making sure that that Google business page is to the max, like do as much as you can yeah. to that. Cause I understand if you don't have the budget for a website, if you're just starting out small, make sure that you're utilizing that Google business page because one, it's free and it's just yep. a matter of the amount of work and the, the content that you can put into that. And that's going to essentially, like we've said before, help your map pack, help you show up when everybody that's locally yep. looking for something, you're going to be not featured maybe at the top, but you're going to be within that, that map and people will find you much easier than if you don't have, obviously if you don't have one. So I mean, make sure you hammer you, that one home. If you check out, if you just do random searches in your local market, what you will find is the map pack is typically showing up first. Google shows that before they show anything else. So before they show the organic results for websites, before they show the paid ads, oftentimes they will show the map pack. The map pack is 100% driven by your Google business page. It's not driven by what's on your website. It's driven by your Google business page. So if you aren't active and you don't have an optimized Google business page, you are literally missing prime real estate number one in the map pack by not being there. So, I mean, that's why I say it's as important as your website, because sometimes the results for the your Google business page are showing up well above the organic results for websites below. So if it's getting to the point where I might even be willing to say a Google business page is more important than a website. 